single thing in our lives has been changed. New tonight at six, a story you will only see on channel three, a Milford family of six desperate for help. It has been two months since a man crashed into their home, creating chaos in their lives, and now they want accountability. Channel three's Dylan Fearon spoke exclusively to the family tonight. Nobody will listen to us. Paul and Carol Clarizio feel defeated. Four kids trying to rebuild their lives in a Milford rental. It's a house but not their home. Every single thing in our lives has been changed. All because on a Saturday night in November, a man drove right into a corner of the Clarizio's home. Luckily, their kids weren't hurt or worse. The home deemed uninhabitable, now waiting for the insurance company and then contractors. We lose our home. I mean, I'm shocked we can't be in our home. What's shocking is it's the fourth time someone has crashed onto the Clarizio property in 12 years. This bad choice that this man made it completely turned our lives upside down. 63-year-old Michael Murray was driving the Toyota RAV4 and went to the hospital. This is his mugshot from a DUI arrest in 2016, wearing a Smirnoff shirt. In the November crash report, police wrote Murray stated he had been drinking and nips were found in the vehicle on the passenger side, adding Murray was at fault for the incident. There is an arrest warrant out for Murray on a DUI charge. Police had his address on file. They went there last week, but turns out he moved out a few months ago. They don't know where he is, but as soon as they find him or he turns himself in, he'll be charged with DUI. We know who he is. We know that he did it. He was at the hospital. I don't understand why they couldn't have served, you know, arrested him at the hospital. Paul and Carol have also begged the city for a guardrail outside their home to prevent any more more horrific crashes. In 2018, the city denied them, despite Pond Point Avenue notoriously being a dangerous road as cars race downhill. Five years later, the Clarizios are devastated. You feel like the city's failing you all around. In Milford, Dylan Fear and Channel 3, Eyewitness News.